we go. And we are live. Hi. Good morning. Hey. And thanks for joining us. Hey, Tony. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you, Maria? I'm excited. I'm running around because I just found out that Nelly is going to be hanging out with us. That's sort of the surprise guest today, isn't that it? That is. You never yeah. know with our hangouts we, here. We but don't uh, ever know. And, and yeah, we never he's know. He's like a big get. He's huge. He's a Grammy yeah. Award winning singer, songwriter, rapper, hip hop yeah. artist. It's getting hot in he... here. That's all so I'm take saying. Take up all your clothes. <laughs> well, I got to. Let me see if I have to run that in and do cool. a hit. Okay. Um, I do, I think. I'll find out in a second okay. if I'm going to be in. So I'll be okay. right I'll go ask the booth. Yeah. Okay. Let me change my button. That's the one song I think everyone's familiar with <laughs> of, uh, of Nelly's. For sure. What's that? I just uh, went live. You're not in, so I'll go grab him. I'm dead? Okay, let me get my... Okay. Do you get the Mr. Hey, hey, what's up? How the heck are you? I'm good. How are you? Nelly underscore Mo. Nelly underscore Nelly Mo. Mo. <laughs> Nelly Mo. Yes, Mo. Ah, okay. Um, hey guys. Hey Storm. N e l l y underscore Mo. In a second. And join me. That's with your. I'm trying to remember if he's recorded one or more albums at Village Recorder. He what? He's recorded uh, one or more albums at Village Recorder, the Village Studio. Oh, 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 okay. They have his plaque on the wall for Nellyville because he recorded it there. Um, you know, I don't really know much about Nelly other than he's done a lot of songs that I've danced to in the club and I don't really listen to <laughs> Do you dance to <laughs> Hot in Here? <laughs> I don't think anybody has in the country yeah, I don't think anybody has I remember dancing to that song actually in Hawaii and I think my top act I think I had a malfunction. I think I had a wardrobe malfunction um, during that song. But anywho... How appropriate. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's see... Who do we have? Stormy, Nick, Matt, John, Hector. Hey, do, 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 do. No one from the UK. We're, wow, that's amazing, right? Usually we're invaded by all the Brits. The and, British uh, were, are slacking. They're not coming in yeah, regularly. Where's, where's all the Trev, Trev has an excuse, but but I don't know that Ayub does. No, I know. And I, I love all my my guys, but I really do miss my girls. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'd have to agree that we need more women in here. Yeah. True. Um, who else? Hi. Okay, I'll be right back, you guys. All right, Maria. Oh my God, what a pleasure to meet you. You're so awesome. Please come join me. Um, this is our Google Plus Hangout here. The Shaka, he's our tech ninja. These are very ninja. -ish. How are you doing this morning? I'm good. How are you? You good? This is our Google Plus Hangout. Have you ever heard of it? 
Um, that was my first time. It's really fun. It's it's very casual, by the way. It's very informal. It's kind of a behind the scenes look at what we do in the newsroom. So they get to see what goes on behind here and oh. for the assignment desk bar, a lot of the producers and writers and stuff. So um, I'm just admiring your diamond. Wow, that is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> so nice. Um, so we've got some friends right now that are hanging out with yeah, us I mean, yeah. from all over the place. So I'm going to introduce you. Hey, you guys. Good morning. Look who has joined us. One of our surprise guests today. Don't we love it when we have surprise guests here in our hangouts? We've got Nelly, who's the uh, Grammy Award winning superstar. Um, Yes, Martin wants to say hello. just introduced. Okay, uh -huh. who's Martin? Nelly Martin. Hi. Fox St. Louis, oh, good to see you again. How are you? Louis. Hi, yeah. Maria Quavon. Maria Martin, nice to see Hi, you. Hi, Martin. Nice I was to representing see you. the STL out there, and I sound I... a little less hip than Mr. Haynes. No, 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 that's just okay. A you yeah. see a little that's... bling, and then you fit right We're in. We're just talking a little bit. <laughs> How you doing? You getting... I'm good, I'm good. I might I... do a, we'll do a quick picture for Fox St. Louis, if you don't mind. Okay. All right. Sure. They let you out? They, they let me out. I said when he comes, David Freeze comes running out in the clubhouse. I said they all start running for the. Following oh. Alright, good to see you again, man. Thanks. Have fun. Good luck. Nice to meet you. Oh, you know it. Okay. You'll be there? No, I won't be there tonight. So You're busy. hopefully I, I I won't have to see see them play this. I'll go to the World Series if they close oh. it out. Oh Did I say that loud? <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Um, so see how casual it is, you guys. You now anyone can just walk up and take you away. But anyhow, I was in the middle of introducing the guys that are in the hangout this morning. We've got um, Hector, who's hanging out with us from Riverside. Morning, Nick. John Morning, Nelly. Is actually in Riverside as What's well. Up? Storm, hey. Matt is in Anaheim. What's up, Matt? Nick is in Dallas. What's up, and Matt? Stormy is in Mississippi this morning. Howdy. We have a bunch of people watching us on air and on YouTube. So hey, YouTubers, if you have a question for Nelly, just put it in the comments box if you can make it. We just have a few minutes with him, and um, I'll get it to him. Or tag me in the hangout, okay? And share the link if you can. Thumbs up, like us. Definitely. All that. Social media stuff. Are you you're on social media? I just yeah. I think tweeted you. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I'm on social media. Um, probably one of the last ones to get to get on it. Uh, really? really? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. surprising. It took me a while. It took me a while. Well, I finally broke down. Well, you're busy. You're yeah. busy. You, um, Nelly's here to talk about not only, of course, the music and all that good stuff, but you're on the mm -hmm. show that I just heard about recently. Mm -hmm. The husbands of uh, real or, husbands of Hollywood. the real husbands of Hollywood. Yeah. It's not like the wives of <laughs> Beverly Hills or anything no. like that. Uh, can you explain the show to us and well, who the other guys are? Yeah, definitely. What it is is um, it's partially scripted, I would say. Okay. It, what, what our slogan well, is... A, a lot our, of them are, actually. Well, our <laughs> slogan is with the fakest reality show on television. <laughs> so, you know, we kind of embellish the roles and everything, featuring myself, Kevin Hart, obviously. I love him. Um, so funny. Uh, Boris Kojo, Dwayne Martin, mm -hmm. J.B. Swoop, my man Nick Cannon. Ah. And we have a various of other um, guest guest appearances and things mm -hmm. like that. And what mm -hmm. we do is we just kind of poke fun at, at, mm -hmm. at the whole little bit of the housewives thing and a little mm -hmm. bit of ourselves. You know, we kind of embellish our roles and, um, you know, it's fake, but it's but it, but it's real as far as the comedy and um, and the sincerity of trying to be the best television show on. Now, who thought of this idea? Like, the actually, like Kevin's. Kev it's actually Kevin. Kevin Kevin's mm -hmm. idea. It was a skit that he did during the BET Awards one year. He was hosting the first year, and I actually participated in that first script. And you know, he wanted to make this thing into a show, and he asked me would I be a part of it, and I said yes. How fun! How fun! Yeah. I can't wait to say it's on BET. It's on BET. Um, it aired the second season. Uh, started last night. Ah. And um, you can catch up, so it's dope. Okay, we'll catch up. If you guys have a question, by the way, in the hangout, just tag or just let me know. I can see you in the corner of my eye. And um, I will go to you. Now, we overheard a little bit of your conversation here. You're from Missouri, or yeah. St. Louis, St. Louis, is yeah. it originally? St. Louis, yeah. Yeah, definitely. do you, you go back there a lot? I obviously. live there. You live there? Oh, yeah. I thought you lived here in L.A. No. no, 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 I don't live in L.A. I live in ah, St. Louis. Okay, so I see you're not wearing blue. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, no, no. no. I, I mean, it. don't get it twisted. I have, okay. I, have a, I have a fond respect and love for the Dodgers, but I'm a Cardinals guy. Too, I, I hear you. Yeah. I hear you. Hey, Storm, do you have a question? Go ahead. I was wondering if you still play poker oh, much. Sorry, hold on. Go ahead. Start I was again. wondering if you still play poker much. <laughs> um, not as much. Not as much. I did participate in a tournament not too long ago down in um, down in Florida. Um, I think it was at the Seminole. They they mm -hmm. had a tournament down there, and I I played a little bit, but I, not as much. Not as much as I I would like. Mm. Uh, Matt, you have a question. Go ahead. 
Um, yeah, I was just wondering. Uh, uh, you you have a you have a couple kids, but you also have a very busy life. I was just wondering uh, uh, it, how you're able to to negotiate that to where you actually have time for them. Like like, it, do you shut down at a certain time of the day, or or how do you do that? When do you stop working? Well, um, what I do is you 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 have to find time to 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 make sure that they're getting the the type of attention that they that mm -hmm. they truly deserve not mm -hmm. that they need but that they deserve because mm -hmm. you know they're very warranted of that and it, it's hard it's hard I think it's the hardest thing for someone in this position to do I think that's the hardest thing above all but mm -hmm. I mean you find little ways like I've I've, I've always make recitals oh, that's <laughs> I always good. make all the graduations and and, and things awesome. of that nature uh, I don't make everything I don't make all of the baseball games but all the basketball games but I make the playoffs mm -hmm. that's <laughs> you know the so one. so yeah you try to balance it out a little bit and you also have to talk to them and and and, and explain to explain to them, you know, this is what happens. Everybody's making a sacrifice, and, and including yourself, and just let them know that you love them very much. How and, old are they? Um, well, my son is 14, mm -hmm. and my daughter's 19. You have a 19-year-old daughter? Yeah. At 14? Wow. I started early. You did start young. Okay, so did I, actually. <laughs> I'm in the same club. I started yeah. really, really young. Um, I, I, my first one I had in high school, so I can't, you know, but, but I take care. They're good. They're good kids. Of course. Um, Excuse me. Yes. We're going to try to get to you before Nellie leaves. Please stick around. Yes, yes, yes. Stick around. Your image is kind of I'm going to post. Kind of I'm going to fix it. I'm going to fix it. I'm going to fix it. <laughs> See, this is all the kind of the behind the scenes thing here. Let me shut this part off. And then uh, yeah, everything is live. All right? social media live, and it's all on computers. It's so wild how things are different. Now, are your kids on social media? Do you let them have like a phone? Of course, they're 19 or 14, of course, so they have 19 all that stuff. 14. I mean, you have to. I mean, I, I think in this day and age, I think the sheltering part is possibly the the worst thing you can do at this point mm -hmm. because they're so accessible once they leave the house. I mean, phones, computers, everything. They're, yeah. they're basically one click away from the rest of the world. So I think it's best to try to explain to them to understand so that they don't misuse certain things and that yeah. they do have an understanding of it. Um, it's very, very different from you know when we grew up mm -hmm. and things of that nature so I think you have to parent different mm -hmm. um, I think as life you know changes your parenting skills have to mm -hmm. change as well now how do you as a parent I'm just curious like how do you balance out sort of the life of your celebrity and 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 the fame with reality um, with them it's hard you know I, I Parenting is never perfect. Never, you know, what I'm saying nobody, no nobody has the perfect scenario because everybody yeah. lives different. Everybody's child is different. Everybody yeah. has different scenarios. So, you know how somebody can write a book on parenting, I'll never know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But um, I think it's just one of those situations where you have to you have to trust your gut. You have mm -hmm. to trust the love that you have for your child and trust that that love transfers over into giving them the, the best guidance that you can give. Now, what inspires you, Nelly? When you write your songs, when you perform, and just life, just, just life. life. Yeah, you yeah. just try to pick up as much as you can. Um, learn from your experiences. Look, we're hanging out with Nelly, you guys. Awesome. Well, who? Stormy's in the house. Nick, Matt, John, and Hector. Come join us. You got a question? Just tweet me. I will Let's ask go. Nelly. That's so awesome that you're here. Now, are they going to ask okay, him to get on the set already? Yeah, we're going to go into the set now. Darn it. See, you missed it. If you're just joining us, you missed the hang with Nelly. Let's like take a quick it. photo with Nelly before we go. Uh, here's my camera. Hold on. Okay, and there it is. Okay, one. Wait. Stop. <laughs> one, two, three. Cheese. Yay. Awesome. Thank Good you out. so much. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure to meet you. Thanks, guys. Have fun out there. Bye. See you later. Take it easy. And check out the, uh, what's the name of the show? Real Husbands of Hollywood. Real Husbands of Hollywood. With a little bit of embellishment. Yeah. The fakest reality show out there. There you go. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you so Bye-bye. Well, that was cool. Mm-hmm. He's cute. <laughs> that nice teeth. Did you see his teeth? I wasn't looking. <laughs> Tony. Tony would not look. No. First of all, there's a younger, just as handsome. Really, Maria? Is that what Very you're rich. <laughs> Black man. Really? Did you really see? Going there? Did you see the diamond on his ear? No, I don't. I tend not to look it at was, things that I can't afford. Um, it was the size of. It was like. <laughs> 
It was so big. That diamond was crazy. It was gorgeous. It was gorgeous. Wow. Well, well, well. It's good to be successful and work hard and all that good stuff. Oh, look, Lisa took a photo of us. She's so cute. Cat got your tongues? No. <laughs> What's up? Not much, Maria. <laughs> I'm watching a Danny Geimer song on YouTube. She's good, isn't she? She's from um, Northridge, I think, Danny Geimer. And she's on X Factor. Isn't she one of the judges or a participant of um, X Factor? No, she's she's one of the finalists. Ah. Yeah. Excellent. Team finalists. Mm -hmm. Best um, of luck to her. I bet you they're gonna do like a little makeover, you know, with her because she just sort of um, what do you call this a uh, a diamond in the rough right now. She's got a hat on. I mean, the ones that, the images we've seen. She's got a hat, she's got glasses, she's kind of shy, and, you know, she's wearing not the most hip clothes that are out there, not trendy, I guess, for girls her age. So I can just see them transforming her like that, and she's just going to be the swan coming off the... No, she's doing the Lisa Loeb thing, and I can respect that. She's staying herself, kind of... Uh... Yeah, but, but well, that's amazing. I'm even... Buckworm look. That transformation will be... You know, just a more slightly sophisticated, more put together. I, I kind of hope they don't, because uh, uh, from what I have seen of her, uh, mm -hmm. she's very attractive as she is. She's very, very cute. But you know, they'll just do a little bit, I would think, just a little. Yeah. So why change yourself? Yeah. No, not change. Just enhance, shall we say? <laughs> just a little enhance. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, they're they're calling her uh, a bookworm, basically. Yeah. And I'm kind of interested in what kind of because I, I I was a, I'm kind of a bookworm myself. What kind of books she reads? I used to be a bookworm. She says she reads like neuro type books, like neuroscientist type books. That's what I saw. Books. Now, if she told you that she read the Twilight series, would that change her? <laughs> yes, because that's not a bookworm. If your impression, she would not be a bookworm. Um, Someone's joined what us. Your, what is your definition of a bookworm, Matt? Uh, where you actually enjoy literature, not... Uh, and uh, that's just it. Twilight is not literature. Oh, come on. Those are books. Those are good books. I enjoy the Twilight books. I enjoy fiction as well as not fiction. <clears throat> Um, hi, I don't know. It's just hi, Ayub. To me, a bookworm is someone who loves just read books. Well, for example, if it were the same thing, and you were saying Harry Potter, which was actually intended intended for a younger audience, I would say Harry Potter okay, Twilight not. The reason being is because the quality of writing by the actual author, the quality of writing in Twilight is is horrible. Oh, I wouldn't. It's I true. I agree. Agree. I don't. I disagree. I don't think it's horrible. I think it's it simplistic. I think it's a simplistic way of telling a story. And no, I no, 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 Maria. You can't declassify someone you. as a bookworm because you don't like their book. That's just silly. Uh, I, I, well, that's just it. I, it's, I, it's I the have... actual elements in the book I don't have an issue with. I mean, I I do like on an intrinsic level, but that, but not when it comes to the actual book itself. What the problem yes. I have with the books itself, as opposed to say the movies and the books, is that the books are very poorly written. If you were to hand that book to an English teacher of any kind whatsoever, that English teacher would not be able to make it through the first chapter. They would chuck it out. It is poorly written. The sentence that's, structure, the Matt, spelling, everything. Agree, Matt, you, Matt, that's I, exactly what I did. I threw it against the wall. You literally threw it against. I the wall. literally threw it against the wall, literally. and uh, that's that. That has nothing to do with the portrayal of women in the book. Women are weak, have to be protected, and are crap in the book, which is 
really, really, really sad considering it's written by a woman. I disagree on the Twilight series. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, she can't. She, she, she defines herself by her relationship. She doesn't define herself by being strong. She doesn't define herself by being anything else. It oh, is, no, she has to have about, that guy. talking about Bella. That's one character in the book. It's yeah, Bella. but... It's the main character. Like I say, the it's, it's the main character. It's the one that the readers, her target audience, would most likely identify with. I identify with... <laughs> I identify with... Uh, what's his name? Dr. Cullen. No. <laughs> Whatever, you guys. I'll tell you what's a great series of books. Silly entertainment. Dresden. It's silly entertainment. It's all, it's all it is. Oh, well, they're silly and then there's downright stupid. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not a fan of the books. <laughs> yeah, and, and, but the thing is, is, is I can't really judge oh, no, Twilight too catch? much because I watch True Blood, and True Blood, inversely... She defines Sookie defines herself by what particular person she happens to be stooping at the time. Yeah, and so it's not any better whatsoever. And I and I've never missed an episode, so I really can't judge Twilight series for that particular. Even though I do, I I shouldn't. But you really have a problem with the way it's written. Okay, I get yes. it. I can respect that. I can respect that. That's fine. That's fine. Now, here's my question. Did you guys all get a chance to read Tony's blog yesterday? No. No. Well, Tony Does he post it on Google Plus, uh, Maria? Yeah, he did, he did, he did. He did. He's learned I think I must have read it yesterday. He has learned how to do that. He, um, he wrote quite the, the blog yesterday that ruffled many people's ire. Is that the right way of saying it? Ruffled their feathers. Yeah. Ruffled their feathers. What's, what's the ire? Like, um, raised, raised your ire. Yeah. Yes, that's it. Say it again. Wait. Raised. Raise their Raised. ire. Yeah. Is that, is that the right term terminology? Yeah. Their ire. Um. He I, provoked I, their ire. <clears throat> something their ire. I don't know. Um, he wrote a blog about Obamacare and how the way he wrote his headline was "Good luck trying to find a doctor on Obamacare here in L.A." So. And then, of course, you know, Tony works for Fox 11 News here in Los Angeles, which is a, an affiliate of Fox. But it just sort of... I, mean, I think I read that. <laughs> yeah. um, what is this? That was terrible. I had to scroll so far. Oh, Christian. What is this? Or to you. Christian, did you read it too? Christian, are you watching our, our, our uh, show? Did you read it also? I would, you know, leave me a comment so I know that it's you, Christian. Um, so, yes, so Tony wrote this blog, and a lot of people wrote in, you know, just chastising Tony. Like, they were really they were offended by it. They were just livid. They were livid. And uh, so Tony, I think, it loves it. <laughs> oh, Tony, t I, I can bet Tony Tony's loves loving it. it. Tony I can loves bet Tony's loving it. He loves it when people write to him and tell him how awful he is. Yeah. Oh, he, uh, he just loves it. No, 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 Maria. Tony is a discerning chap. He is a very intelligent man, and he realizes that if he has provoked people to write something, yeah, then he has provoked them to think about it. Yes, exactly. So it doesn't matter what they've written as long as they've written. So is that the rule of thumb for blogging, for things that you write on the interwebs? Like you need to be able to be very provocative and just to raise their raise people's ire. Is that the right way? I'm still trying to find the right way of saying. It. Anyway, to, yes. To your Either raise so much. E yeah. The well, probably the, a better word is to inspire them. Whether that inspires them to anger or um, joy or whatever is just to inspire them. I need to do. I need to learn to write better headlines like Tony. You know, you have so, to be provocative. You have to be provocative as a blogger, absolutely. You have to be That's what they call persuasive writing in college. You have to persuade a person <laughs> to feel the same way as you. Well, well that's just, just it. Wait them to read it, right? That's right. That's why, that's why you're writing it that way, yeah. 
Read it. I All shared, your kids are bullies, I shared your Every blog. single one of them. <laughs> I, read, I read that, that one. Was, that was I great, Shaka. And I will, I, go, I will go further to say that you are a bully too, parents. Yeah. You need to check. <laughs> you need to see Before you, you wreck do. yourself. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Before you wreck yourself, exactly. So, um, um, I truly believe that that our current society actually rewards those who are provocative, in a in a negative fashion as well. Uh, you can say things on the internet like, uh, uh, you're an like the Sony PlayStation Four is never ever going to come out uh, because of this, even though it's obviously not true. You can say that, and you will get so many click throughs, so many people pissed off that you dare say that, that you're actually being rewarded for straight-out lies. Yep. Yes, you're absolutely and, right. And, Matt, that's the basis of reality television. It is. But, you know what, let me tell you something. This, my, that's the model. I never thought of it that way. What, I never thought of it that way. That's, that's actually a very good point. What irks me about human nature and the things people tend to complain about is, is that Everybody, you know, we and we all do this, where we, we, we hate hearing, like, these headlines, you know, tune in tonight at 11 to find out what's in your refrigerator that could be killing you. And we're like, okay, come on, that's, you know, since so sensational, sensational and stop it already. But I'm going to tell you, on my own um, Internet safety digital literacy blog, I can put up a post that shows parents step-by-step step how to lock out um, Google from uh, being able to do... Uh, explicit content searches for their children. I can show them step by step, real easy. You can lock it out, no problem. Don't have to worry about your kids googling inappropriate images like on, porn? Go uh, on Chrome or yeah. like porn. However, if I put up a post going, your child could be snatched by an online predator unless you do these five steps. That's the article that'll get read. The one that shows you step by step how to actually keep your children safe. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The one that, with the, ignore it. the boogeyman is the one that I'll get all the traffic on. Mm -hmm. And I've tested this because I don't like using fear tactics. I've never liked it in my own business, but I have found that unless you make people think that their lives are going to end in three hours if they don't read what you have to write, a lot of times people don't read it. And it's human nature. It's why people don't go to the doctor till they have to. They don't go get a car repaired till they have to. Because we respond to that. Yeah, we respond to what's that what primal, we think is immediate. Yeah. And, and it's unfortunate because people who want to be credible writers, sometimes you almost feel like you're under pressure to create these sensationalized headlines that will actually bring you traffic. And in some cases it may be true, but it's not just, I just want to say it's not just the content creators who are doing that just to scare people. Sometimes it's because it's human nature. It is. I, so, I just want to point out that, that uh, Shaka said that people do not go to the doctor unless they are scared of something. Uh, I'm going to quote that again later when we start talking about uh, uh, Tony Tony's blog again. <laughs> what did you just say, Matt? Was that Matt? What did he say? What did Matt say? Sh Shaka, Shaka said that we do not see the doctor unless uh, we're, we're scared of something. And uh, and that's something I, I want to bring up when we start talking about Tony's story again. Tony, get is, over here. Is that we're, we're not going to have, like, tens of millions of people showing up to the hospitals. Like, let me, like, let me, here, no, you have let to let me, let me let, me, let, yeah. me let me let me ask you. Are you guys going to skewer Where did me? Because if, if you guys are going to skewer me and be mean to me, I'm as leaving. As soon as you sat down, you left. Was it something <laughs> you said or did? Oh, Ayub is offended by me just because I'm, you know, I'm here. Clarissa just came back. Okay, there you go. Hi, Clarissa. Hi, Sorry. Frank. I just want to say hi to the YouTubers. Hi, Frank Perry. Hello, people. Um, Harley Quintero. Hi. Thanks for watching. Uh, you know, I, I will say this. I never intended to start a firestorm. I mean... You love it. Look at Tony's face. <laughs> he just loves what he has begun. Lies, Tony. We're Leos, Tony. We <laughs> love it. No, no, he's he's very honest about it. He loves it. He <laughs> loves it. <laughs> well, you know, I you know what? If it gets people hi for you. If it gets people discussing, and here's the thing: people were like personally attacking me. I I didn't even take a position on on Obamacare one way or the other. Nobody knows where I stand on the issue. You know what I mean? I didn't take 
I didn't take it. it it'd be different if I had taken a, a particular position, position on right. it, but I didn't. Like here, here's, the, here's the gist of Tony's um, blog, in that Tony did some research, found out that here in California, which was which is one of the big, big states in the oh, country, yes, yes. Oh. that really pushed hard on um, universal health care. And so the website, which admittedly had a few glitches in the beginning. Oh, we're still having a glitch. glitch. The, the glitch has a lot. It's a, it's a big glitch. Big glitches. The, the glitch is is that there, when you checked out whatever plans it is that you were considering for health care, there was a tab that was put in place that would tell you which doctors and hospitals would honor whatever plan it is that you're considering. Well, that tab only remained up for 48 hours, and then it mysteriously disappeared. So basically it left consumers flying blind when it came to considering health care plans on the covered california site in determining which plan might be best for them what good is it going to do you if you decide well this looks like a good plan but you don't know whether a doctor within 200 miles of you is going to honor that plan so did you check did you happen to check today to see if well they said they wouldn't even have it up until like uh, up and running again until they they were hoping by next month Oh, next month. Okay. All right. For, 48 hours ago, I actually went to the healthcare.gov website, and I was looking at all the states that, that uh, for healthcare. California was not in that drop-down list when I looked at it 48 hours ago. Oh. Interesting. Uh, but, it was, but it was 24 hours ago. Hmm. That's interesting. That is interesting. Yeah. So, well, I mean, I there, are, there are website <laughs> screw-ups because of the fact that you've got – so many people looking at this website all of a sudden. Well, they outsourced the website, didn't know, they? So kind of like Mitt Romney. So many bugs. Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, the, uh, a point I made on my own Google Plus is is if you look at any video game because video game or online video game uh, mm -hmm. that has come out in the past decade, not a single one of them has had a a successful smooth launch. launch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, any major website, uh, Twitter, YouTube, Google Plus, Facebook, all of them, when they get an influx of users, obviously it screws up the website. That's just how it is, and and it's it's a fact of life, and, just sh and stuff happens. Is anyone here um, going to sign up for Covered California or the um, Obamacare? Anyone here going to sign up for their own? Uh, I'm already covered. I, I, I'm quite not well covered me. before Obamacare. I'm oh, already covered. Not you, too. Elaine. You're already. No, not me. <laughs> You're in Canada. Um, yeah, I might. You will probably, Hector. Yeah, because you Yeah, but I have to check online. Yeah, you're in between jobs, right? Ex like, is in one job or two job? But I mean, your your employer could currently does not cover you under. Correct. Yeah, they actually do not. Where I work, they actually don't have any. Um, yeah. Any kind of type of medical you're, insurance. You're, you're actually the prime candidate for the Universal Exchange, um, California mm -hmm. Exchange. Yeah, to, uh, so that means yeah. I have to go online and um, mm -hmm. go to like either a platinum or gold membership. Mm -hmm. You did. Depending work. on how much it is monthly, depending on how much it is per, per month. Well, what does it depend on, Tony? On your income, or I have not personally. So I have there, not, there are a lot of different factors. There are different and, plans. Yeah, but. and a lot of different plans, and it, it just really, it really depends. Yeah, income is 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 certainly a big factor. If you can't afford it, there's supposed to be subsidies that will will help. Mm. You know, uh, mm -hmm. depending upon your your particular income. But there's, you know, and that's part of the problem is that a lot of people just don't understand. Right. You know, yeah, because my membership of in health insurance expired when I turned 18 10 years ago. By the end of 2003, that's when my health oh, insurance expired. How old are you now, Hector? 28. Oh, so um, you, you aren't even eligible to be on your parents' yeah, uh, health insurance. It's, it's Correct, yeah, that's right. Be under your parents' plan. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm. yeah. It has to be on my own. Something I, something I found interesting is I was having a, a conversation with someone on Facebook about this is that their insurance premiums are going up and I and I called BS on this I'm all like like how it's set up it's supposed to make everyone's premiums go down and well, they but, but, uh, but not everyone's will that's that's part of the problem is that, is that not everyone's premiums I, I mean I believe well that's just it is is from what I can tell if you have like uh, cut rate insurance now. That cut rate insurance does not qualify. Does not fit under the 
qualifications. It's like I remember when California first made dry, uh, uh, insurance, car insurance, legal. Liability, which was the minimum you could have, was still higher than some insurance that, that people had at the time. And so, yes, of course they had to pay more. And that's kind of what's going on here. Is the liability health insurance, as it were, is more than these people were paying. I want to say hi to I want to say hi to Harley Quintero. <laughs> Harley, thank you for your message. You're very sweet. I'm at Maria's Earth, M A R I A S E A R T H, Maria's Earth at Twitter, and Tony is at Tony. Vic no, 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 no. Sorry, Tony is at Tony's Universe. Can you tell who had their Twitter handle first? Maria's Earth, Tony's Universe. <laughs> <laughs> you see, she makes she makes a big issue of this every time she brings it up. The fact of the what? matter is, I couldn't get Tony's world because someone had already taken it, and so I had to come up with something else. And so Maria says, "Oh yeah, I can have Maria's Earth, but Tony has to have the whole universe." <laughs> <laughs> it is true though, because it was Maria's no. Earth, and all of a sudden, here comes Tony, Tony's universe. <laughs> if Tony's universe was taken, would it have been like Tony's dimension? I don't know. I, 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 <laughs> What's that? Mean? No, it would have been. It, it, uh, Matt, it would have been more like. To, it would have been more like Tony's dimension. <laughs> yeah, it would have been Tony's demented. Yeah, Tony's demented. Um, Tony is just beside himself about the popularity of his blog. Well, no, I, I honestly, I've been. No, I'm just saying your blog in general. How long have I been? Your blog. I, um, on the My Fox Lake, um website has been the hottest thing every day. You've been blogging almost every day now. And it, for, it, yeah, it goes on Google like, every day. I don't know how many months day. now. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, but, and he's learned how to post it on Google Plus as well. So, good for Tony for doing that. Yeah. <laughs> it's about Tony. Good for Tashaka for showing me. <laughs> well, we want to get Tony on um, the SUL, but I've as I've counseled Tony, he needs to engage a little bit more. Yeah, I'm not very engaging. That's right. He needs People to say that about me when they watch me on TV all the time. They don't want to get engaged <laughs> to you, Tony. Don't get engaged. <laughs> they just want you to, to engage. Now, St I want to know, Stormy, so what, what was your comment? Because you had this big comment you were going to make uh, about going to the doctor and everything. What, what were you going to oh, say? Oh, yeah. Sorry, sorry. That wasn't me. Oh, Matt. Oh, Matt. Matt. oh, Matt, what were you going to say? I I'm interrupted sorry, Stormy. you, Matt. Go ahead. You both wear beards a little bit, so I expect <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> no, uh, uh, I, I was only saying, uh, yeah, the last thing I was talking about is how uh, uh, these people, these, these business owners actually have this, like, cutthroat, low, like, less than liability uh, insurance currently, and how uh, Obamacare is making uh, insurance have a certain threshold of coverage, and their current insurance doesn't fit that threshold so their premiums are going to end up going up even if they get the lowest amount of Obamacare allowed insurance. Does that make sense? Yes. Um, Chris has commented on our um, YouTube stream that saying premiums will not go down because of the taxes being imposed by Obamacare against the pharmaceutical companies, insurance carriers, the medical device companies, etc that they eventually were going to pass on to the consumers. Now, of course, it's all, it's all trickle down. It always does. Well, right? and, and, and really, I, I think a lot of, it, you know, you're getting a lot of debate on this. Uh, you know, premiums will go up, premiums will go down, premiums will blah, blah, blah. You're getting a lot of debate. And, and the reason there is this debate is because I think a lot of people, people at this point don't, don't know. know. But the, the don't fact know. of the matter is we're going to know. It's, it's, you know, eventually, eventually right. we're going to find out exactly but, what's going to happen is with this, this. Is this not too dissimilar from when, you, you remember, we used to mail our, all our letters through the U.S. Postal Service, right? Mm -hmm. but then you had FedEx, then you had UPS, then you had DHL, which, were, which privatized a lot of the carriers. How did that affect the average consumer? I think it helped the consumer, did it not, having more variety, more options, more options didn't help us in general. I mean, I think so. So I think this only gives us more options. I, I tried to sign up just now at healthcare.gov to do a comparison with my insurance, but the page is down. Yeah, and it's going to be, like Matt was saying, there's never been a smooth um, debut of any website, online game, 
ever. There really just isn't. So it's just going to take a little time to smooth itself out. Harley wants to know, Tony, if you're still working out. Let me see. Ow! <laughs> Ow, Tony. Tony's arm just hurt my finger. Yeah, I still Tony, work out. I'll be right back. I got to go on the set. I'll be right back. Okay. So how's everyone doing today? Larissa, I haven't seen you in a little bit. And I can't I think hear you. You're muted. I think, I'm, I think she's on mute. Is, are you on mute? You're on mute. Look up to the right, Clarissa. If it's red, click it. Abby Lane, I haven't seen you in a while either. I know. I know. I was traveling, so. Oh, okay. Well, you're excused. Where, where did you go? Uh, first Dallas, and then I went to Calgary. Oh. You were in Dallas, and you didn't freaking tell me again? Ooh. Nick! Nick, we told everybody, okay? People came from Houston, Austin, Arlington, and Dallas, and we had a hurl. I had two, actually. Ooh. Why so, weren't you there? <laughs> I wasn't told. Okay, well, next time I promise you I will send you an email directly, and you, you better show up. Do you go to Dallas that often, Elaine? No, not that often. Not that often. You were in Calgary. Did you see Kempton when you were there? No. Um, we were going to try and hook up, but I don't know what he was doing because I never got a hold of him while I was there. Well, he's been very, you know, he's been very uh, involved with his dad. I guess his dad has had some health challenges. So. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I think that has been occupying a lot of his time. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So I just want to point out for Clarissa and Elaine that Maria is constantly talking about how she wants uh, her her women uh, in the hangouts. Yeah, Matt. Um, yeah, I've been. I well, I used to be here all the time. You were. But yeah, yeah Abe, Tony will tell you. Um, yeah. I think Tony's so debonair. Um, right. <laughs> yeah. Right? Absolutely. Absolutely. You know what his nickname is, Elaine? His name is Billy D. I like it. That's I his like nickname. It. Oh, but I think he's the modern day Billy D. Oh, I think yeah. No, Tony's much more than that. Anyway, no, no. <laughs> I used to be here all the time, but the, yeah, this last year I was out. This I just got back. I didn't think I'd be back in time, but uh, I've been doing a lot of, of speaking and different things. So I, I'm just I'm I'm not around during the day as much. <clears throat> yeah, and I and I've always been a little bit infrequent because of work. So. Yeah. I know, I know, but you, you, we do miss you, ladies. Though, just so you know, we we really, I really. I know, and I miss Maria and you too. Thank yeah, you, we, Tony. We miss you too. We really, but, you know, love what what you, you know you guys contribute to the hangout. But um, you must have uh, were were your ears itching because I was showing pictures pictures of you guys in my speak this morning. Oh really? Yeah. Oh nice. Oh, that's very nice. No, I didn't. I no, my ears weren't burning. I ah, well, I often show them the debonair Tony and the gorgeous Maria. Oh wow! Thank you so much. <laughs> very, very sweet of you. I appreciate that. So, how are things with you? Things are good. Things are good. I mean, busy. You know, we're getting ready to go into what we call the uh, November sweeps period. Yeah. So What's that. that? That's the ratings period, um, you know, that all the, you know, in fact, uh, you're, in, you're in New York, right, Clarissa? Yeah, yeah. So, so pretty soon you're going to start seeing all of these promotions yeah. for, could what's in your bathroom kill you? <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, what's under your kitchen sink is killing you, you know, I yeah. mean. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to start seeing uh, promotions. Don't step out your door. It's yeah, don't walk out your door. Yes. <laughs> yeah, my son's in radio, so yeah, we sweeps is a big deal. You're, yeah, you're, you're going to start seeing uh, promotions for all those kinds of series. And whenever you start seeing oh. a lot of those, then you know that you know a sweeps period isn't far off because that's, that's the period where uh, broadcasters set their advertising rates. Oh wow! I based, didn't know that. Based on how many viewers okay. there are, so they try to entice as many viewers to watch as possible. Oh, so that's why all these shows are gonna have new series in November only. Well, it, it it you know that's why yeah they try to put their best. 
put forward in November, um, oh. February, and May. Those are the, the important ratings months. July is also a ratings month, but nobody pays attention to July because it's during the summer and viewing. And nobody's around. Yeah, right, exactly. Viewing uh, patterns are so skewed during that. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, nobody nobody pays any attention to July, but February. July, the Tony McEwen of rating period. That's your contribution. You walked all the way over here. <laughs> exactly. Really? Well, then why don't you just go back to whatever rock you climbed out from yeah, under? It was right on the money, too, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, but you guys, you guys are one of the... Aren't you, like, one of the top five in the country? Top five what? I'm, I'm not sure. Top, well, we, top we, we five probably are among the top five for social media, because we, we certainly are involved in that. A network's watched. Like, don't you have the highest viewership? Like, I think it's like L.A., New York. Oh well, L.A. is number two. We are. The yeah, we're the number two market. Yeah, I knew it. Okay. Yeah. New York, so, your 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 market's number one. Do you know that New York? Uh, do you know New York is the New York City market is is uh, approximately a tenth of the entire uh, country's viewing audience? Yeah, New York. I City. believe it. Yeah, a yeah. tenth. A tenth. Yeah, because we hold That's we hold fine. like. It's still, 12 million. Even though we're number two to New York. We're so still, far down. We're, we're still, so far down. I mean, Los Angeles will never catch up with New York, and Chicago will never catch up with L.A. The, 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 the three. The, the top th three. The top three, fast. they're so far apart in terms of viewer, in terms of the number of people in the metropolitan area. <laughs> New York City. And that's yeah. why, and that's why uh, broadcasters really target uh, you know, networks and, and, and the like really target New York City because if a show doesn't make it in New York City, it's very difficult for that show to make it in the country, period, because it's it. such a large part of the, of, the, yeah. of the viewing audience. So is that why they don't do the Hangouts? Because they're just like, hey, we got the viewership, bump that. No, I don't think that's it. No, I, I think no, they're just I think not. they're just a little slow. They're slow. Yeah. They're, they're slow, just, fierce. They're, sl they're slow to the party. They're, yeah. yeah. I, I wonder if that's why so many TV shows are filmed in, or er, filmed or based around New York. New York, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah sure. You're absolutely right, Matt. A lot yeah. of the live shows are in New York for sure, right? Like, mm -hmm. um, well, because they're really dependent on, you know, a lot of those uh, talk live. shows and the like are really dependent on 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 <laughs> grabbing that New York audience. And really, I think that's a large part of why Wendy Williams has been so successful. Is because she started in the New York market on radio, and so people yeah, there. That's yeah, yeah. Now she already true. built a following. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I mean, she had built-in success almost, really, which is you know why I think Fox was very wisely stuck with her in those mm -hmm. early months. Look at. That but that's why Bethany Frankel did so well too. Yeah, I'm not sure how um, Bethany's show is doing. I know it did really well in the first run in the test market. Um, now I'm not positive, but um, it looks great. I mean, I, I haven't think, seen it yet. I think Ellen's people pr produced her show initially when it was here in LA. Yeah. Um, oh, really? I didn't know that. Yeah, I believe the same people, mm -hmm. uh, the same production company, or Ellen backed it anyway. Well, that's a good back of the hat. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's why it really was sharp. Um, yeah. In the beginning. Well, Ellen is. I, I love Ellen. Oh yeah. Nineteen sci-fi seventy-three wants to know if you are the new Lando. Lando Calrissian. Cal, Cal, Lando. Calrissian. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Because we. Lando oh, Calrissian. Calrissian. I said he looks like Billy D. I'm not. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh. She does. Modern day Billy D. She does. Call yeah. Billy D. Oh, I said it was an earlier Billy D. We were thinking of. You should hear Tony sing. He's good. Uh oh. He's good. I, I think that's a that's a challenge, Tony. No, no, he's Maria. Awesome. Yes, yes, Hector. You're very lucky. You're not. You're you're very lucky. You're not participating with uh, Maria Sansone and Rossi smashing I'm grapes outside that. the studio. I'm watching that they're stomping on grapes. That's pretty messy. I love how Stormy mm -hmm. put up this picture. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Stormy. No, that that's Tony. <laughs> yeah, that's a picture. You know what? You know what? You know what's really funny? Um. You know, That's you know, hilarious. You know, you know what a better comparison yeah. would be? You know what a better comparison would be? Everyone, you know, and as much as I appreciate uh, Clarissa wow. and, and Elaine saying that, people honestly say I look much more like Martin Luther King. You do, Martin Luther King. Um, yeah, actually, you yeah. do. 
But see, here's the uh, thing. everyone. All Tony, whenever we do Martin Luther King stories, like on April, yeah, you know they, everything, they, and we put up the thing. we put up the graphic. Yeah. People always tweet about. <laughs> well, yeah, that's so true. Look at her rocks. She's drinking wine. She's gonna be drunk for your 10 a.m. Well, news. She, well, she. Oh nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Good, fun times. It's him. So, <laughs> wow. Martin Luther King. Those pictures that we show that look just like you. He was what, 38 years old? He 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 died. At, yeah, cause he died at 39. 38 years yeah. old. Tony's 84. I mean, he looks. <laughs> amazing, doesn't he? <laughs> That's Martin Luther King. Okay, so uh, Stormy put up Martin Luther King. They do your side, do your side pose, do your side pose just like him. Okay, watch, watch. Well, you know. Watch, watch. But it's like Elaine said, it's that debonair thing. Yeah, yeah. Martin. Ah, Tony. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Suave and debonair. Part of the Martin Luther King statue. It's Tony McHughie. Yeah. <laughs> Tony's blushing. I, honestly, I think I think that's why people think they can trust me. That, you know, oh, my, you, oh, of course you can trust Martin Luther King. <laughs> you can't trust Luther King. <laughs> You're so right about that. If you can't trust Martin Luther King, who can you trust? Yeah. No, Jose, my one of my uh, one of my former the former news director, the one who hired me, said that that, that he always had a theory. he thought that was. You're so right about he, that. He had a theory about that. He said, Tony, you because look like you people look... think they're looking at Martin Luther King. Martin Luther King is not gonna lie. No wonder. <laughs> well, there you go. So I'm up right now, um, we've got uh, two topics right now, and then Danny Geimer, the little 16-year-old. Oh, okay, okay, okay. 15-year-old, at least. Okay. That's right now you're doing that? That's after. Okay. But, you Danny. know, but Elaine and, uh, and, and Clover said that that's really sweet because, you know, when I was growing up, Billy D was like, you know, I mean, he was like. He's debonair. Oh, my God. He was he like. Was like Everybody's he was heartthrob. Like, he was the, yeah. you talk about, you know, I think he, He's like the I honestly, well, no, no, I think, no, 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 no. I honestly believe that Billy D was the first a mainstream black sex yeah. symbol. Yeah. yeah, I yeah, agree. Male, male, male sex symbol. I think. Sex yeah. Symbol. yeah, oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, girl. Oh, I think so. I think the first mainstream. The first mainstream, one to cross yes, over. absolutely. Yeah. Huh. Oh, God, Didn't yes. Didn't they yeah. do Colt 45 commercials? And yes. Jerry Curl commercials. And, <laughs> get everything. We didn't get those up here. But you know what? You know what? You know what set him up is that was of course Lady Sings the Blues with Diana Ross. That's yeah. what, yes. Yeah. That's what made him. That. That's I'm what gonna, made him. Yeah. I'm gonna Google first mainstream. Hang on. First mainstream black um, man. Heartthrob. Heartthrob. Yeah. Oh. First. Yeah. Back then the term would have been heartthrob. Now, you know, there would have been others. We weren't allowed to say sex symbol. I, I went to a were, nunnery. I think there would have been others who would have been had they not, you know, had they not come along too early, like Harry Belafonte. Harry Belafonte. Yeah. But, but he wasn't. I thought not, he was, no. Yeah, no, City not Boy is same, not a sex symbol. Not the same not sort of universal appeal. Yeah. yeah. Right. When you, when you say that, when you say Billy D was probably the first oh, yeah. black, yeah, mainstream yeah. Yeah. black so symbol. Well, Male, yeah. Billy D. Billy D. After Lady Sing the Blues. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That's Ladies. what you said, exactly. Yeah. 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 And now I want to watch Undercover Brother again. Oh God, no! Please don't. <laughs> at least oh, the man and Blank Man. Oh my God. At least a lot of terrible movies. Don't watch Blank Man. Just don't watch Meteor Man. They they're both movies suck. Oh. Mm. Just going to a different subject. Hey Isaiah, how are you? Well, are you doing you great. Now? Got over a flu, so I'm doing great. Oh my goodness, you you had the flu. Oh, well, I'm glad it you're was, over. Yeah, it was a seasonal flu, yeah, but it's still all good. Okay. Um, let's see. No, I hate that they put this guy. As a well, he is. No, I I said the old spice first. guy. I said first, not. Oh, he has my name, by the way. Speaking of Isaiah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Speaking of Isaiah. <laughs> Oh wow! Now the females, you know, they 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 actually started. There were black female sex symbols long before. Oh the, yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, you can go all the way back to what Lena Horne. Oh, uh, right. Oh yeah. 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 You know. Um, Tony, listen, I have to go on the set to do um, a segment on breast cancer awareness. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you're here and Danny Geimer comes out, 
I can't. I don't know anything about. Well, that. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I'll tell you what I know. Anyway, Danny Geimer is an incredibly talented. I believe she's either 15 or 16. She was 15 when she signed up for X Factor. I, I remember hearing. She's her. from Southern California. She's from Northridge. She is one of the finalists for X Factor, mm -hmm. and blew the judges away with her rendition of um, uh, "Rising ha the House of the Rising House Sun. of the Rising Sun." Yeah, House of the Rising Sun. And uh, she's kind of a bookwormish girl, mm -hmm. bookworm-ish, depending on what book she reads, right, Matt? Right. Uh, so that, that's <laughs> what well, what, 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 when is she coming on? Well, it's gonna be it's gonna be Lisa's segment right now, and then she's gonna be interviewed on set. But right after she's interviewed on set, I have to go on the set to do the breast cancer awareness thing. So it's really tricky now. Mm. And I okay, was, well, on that note, I'm sorry, love, but I, I have to go meet a client. I just, I keep feeling that we're leaving you in the lurch because you're not yeah. getting the ladies. Elaine, that's my problem. Please help me get the ladies in Clarissa. I really need my girls in the hangouts in the morning, and I don't know how to get them. I see them in the afternoons. I see them yeah. hanging out in the afternoons, but I don't. You know. just, it makes it really hard, Maria, because a lot of the. A lot of the speaks I do, a lot of the networking is for me in the morning, and it's now 20 to 1 my time. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so it's kind of the middle of our work day. A lot of us that are, you know, Virginia oh, yeah. and North. Right. Yeah. So I need to try to tap into somewhere where we're getting, where we have some of the ladies available. So Yeah, I need to, I need you guys but I will put on my thinking cap, and, and I... I want to talk to you right about uh, Mommy Loves Tech because yes, I want you on the yeah, show. About, yes, so let's talk yeah. about that. Okay, all right. Okay. Mwah. Love you all. Bye. See Bye. you, Elaine. Take Make care. it a great day. Make it a wonderful day. So you guys, too, I give you charge on that. I need to have the ladies in the hangout, so I need you to go out and find me at least three. <laughs> Wow. You guys are guys. I feel offended or marginalized or something what? here. You guys are guys. Use your... We're useless. Let's just leave, guys. See how she does without us. Use your dashing good looks <laughs> no, and... No, no, I need you, and, too. And, uh, yeah, we don't want to let Maria do To get the ladies in. I need you, too. This is what I need you to do. I need you to go do what you're supposed to do, which is go get the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> well, that sounds so weird. <laughs> I know. It does sound weird. Sorry. Sorry. So it took me a while to, to remember her name because it's been 20 years. Yes. But Eartha Kitt, Eartha Kitt was oh. my first black oh, yeah. female sex symbol. Oh, yeah, Eartha uh, And that was from Batman. <laughs> okay, don't. <no, no. laughs> uh, Tony Purring as a cat. <laughs> that, was, that was what she was famous for was her purring. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't think she did it quite like that. Well, no, she did it a lot better, thankfully. But. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was more how she sounds. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, she was. You know what? Um, uh, was that was that you, Matt? Matt or Stormy? Yeah. Who's who's that, Matt? I yeah. loved her, and you know, what? I believe she was the first African American to play uh, Catwoman. Yeah. Yes. Well, well, that's just it. Is only two people have is her, yeah. and then like fifteen years later, Halle Berry. Yeah. No, no, no. I, I mean, I mean, in this because Eartha played played. Did she played Catwoman. She played Catwoman on the like 1960s series a couple of times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yes. Yeah. And there were three people who played Catwoman, but right. only one and of them was African American. One of them actually grew up in a house that not too far from uh, Julie Newmar. Huh? She grew. Oh, okay. Up, she grew up in a house that's like a few doors down from from where I live. Hmm. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was Eartha Kitt, Julie Newmar, and I can't think of. Are you talking about the Adam West series? Yes. yes. Eartha Kitt was the Eartha. first African American to play Catwoman. Not only the first, what? but Catwoman. the best Catwoman. Well, who, she was great because her purr was amazing. Oh, amazing. Spot on. Well, who was the one? Okay, because I'm watching it now with Gus, and I I don't I didn't see Eartha Kitt. Yeah, she played she played Catwoman. Really? She was really good. Because it's so interesting to see like Meredith Burgess on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think. And uh, uh, and Romero. Um, Cesar Romero. Cesar Romero. Yeah. Romero. The Joker. The Joker, yeah. yeah. It's so weird. Frank Gorshin. Frank Gorshin was the Riddler. Gorshin married as a penguin, right. And, and King Tut. I used to love King Tut. King Tut was one of my favorite characters. Yeah, I loved King Tut. I don't know why. He, I just loved King Tut. King Tut. Because likes to do that King Tut dance. That's why. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, see. Yeah. 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 She was the third right. one. Right. She's the. Okay, so I'm watching the really early, early then. That was Julie Newmar. 
No, it's Julie Newmar, who, who I just noted, you grew up right down the street from where I live now. I thought she was from another country. No, well, no, she grew up as a little girl. She lived in a house right up in Los Feliz, where I live now. She, oh, she spoke and with sort of like a might well be another country. Back then, really people think. spoke with a certain kind of mid-Atlantic way of speaking. But isn't it amazing? Because how long did she play Catwoman? Hmm. She, I think it was uh, just a season. Oh, wasn't it yeah. like four yeah. years? And yet she became really iconic in that yeah. period. You know, in that, yeah. Yeah. you know how some people will do that just like Suzanne Somers did on Three's Company. Yeah. She was only on there for one season, right? No. Right. Farrah Fawcett yeah. was only on Charlie's Angels. Well, yeah, Farrah yeah. Fawcett was on Charlie's Angels only one. I mean, yeah, but yeah. again, how they just became she so became iconic, the even though they became life bigger life. than life, even though they weren't on these series very long. Yeah. Right. Is a syndication there. See, there, there she is. That is um, Danny Guy Tony. There she is, right there. Okay. Look how cute. Is she, she gonna is. sing for us? Why do you let her sing like two bars? <laughs> One bar. She can just go, and then that's it. Well, I, I don't remember. Look oh. at her. She's got an amazing voice. Her mother is a. Um, I think she works in a beauty salon, and her dad is a buyer for beauty products or something like that. And she grew up in Northridge. There, there's her mom and dad. So she's a local girl. Now, don't you think they're going to do, like, a major makeover on her if she moves They up? always do makeovers. They do. Yeah, they always do. No matter who, it, and it's amazing how these people look after their makeovers. I mean, because look, I mean, she's cute. Don't get me wrong, you guys. She's a high school girl. She's, you know. Well, remember cute. Jordan Sparks when she first went on oh, American Idol? You right? would never know. Look at her now. She was just here. Oh, she's so glamorous now. But she <laughs> totally glamorous. <laughs> not that she was, not that she was ugly or anything, but you just, she just looked very normal. <laughs> she looked normal, yeah. She, she right? Normal. I mean, Jordan Sparks when she first went on, she just looked very she's normal. Like a normal little. Yes, yeah, she used to watch. Yeah, and then. Normal by the time she won American Idol, she was like a, you know... She looked like Rubio. Like a magazine right. cover girl. <laughs> well, when you have the glam squad, like Tony has every morning. <laughs> Trust me, with me, it takes a village. Tony takes me out of the hair care. Well, out! I'm here... I need the I, you know, you know, turns on all for, the lights. For once, for once, <laughs> for once, you guys, Maria is because you should, you know what? I'm right. You know what a drama queen she is. But no. for once, Maria, <laughs> for once, Maria is not exaggerating. When I walk into the hair room, I kick her out. Why kick her out, Tony? He needs his me time. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even. I will. I, you see, I have three. Now they're all here, involved. I will stab you with every one Tony, of Tony, we are live on the air. And you should be ready to watch This is like the beginning of an episode of Castle. Stop me say, it is. Yeah, I have to say it something. Why Tony kick Maria out of the um, hair room? Tony's going to interview her. Tony, you're going to interview her. Why are you her? telling people that? Because Heather just walked by now. She's very it's shy. It's almost Look 10 o'clock. Five minutes with her, Tony. And then I I've got to go. Okay, listen, do this I, for I have to do, And I have to do makeup before Robin leaves. Oh, there you go. <laughs> no, I have to. Robin leaves for lunch at a quarter to 10. I have to go. Tell her I'm going to run into to, to, no, to Robin. No, she's not going to stay. I'm going to call her right now. I'm going to say, Robin, Tony has to do an interview. Do you want me to call her? She's not going to stay. That's the problem. Can I have one? Here. Thank you. Um, Tony, no one else is here to do it. Literally, I'm running Where's the shaka? Why can't he do it? Because you're cuter. Oh. Ah! <laughs> you know, Shaka's oh. watching. You know, Shaka's watching. You come like that. <laughs> Toby didn't Sorry. hear that. You guys are my witnesses. <laughs> I hear all. You know, you Shaka's are, watching. You are in so much trouble, girl. You, you know, Shaka's watching. <laughs> No, Tony, it's because you have this very trustworthy look about you, Mr. King. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So listen, I have to run on the set right after this interview. So you start it. You start the interview. <laughs> look at Tony. Where's interview. Robin? I'll come back. That's the thing. See, that's the problem. See, that's what happens when these interviews get this close to 10 o'clock. I know. That's my problem. Well, why See, is uh, your what, problem what you need to do, Maria, problem? is 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 hire a, a paid intern to to do this stuff for you. 
Told you that right. before. Maybe someone with a hat. Should I call Robin? Should I call her? I know what you're trying to say. Robin, makeup fox. Where's my fox makeup person? Um, F F F. Fox. See, Tony's very worried. He's a diva. No. <laughs> but it's not about that. It's about not going on looking like. Hi, Robin in makeup. This is Maria and Tony. We're calling you from the Hangout right now. Hi. Hi, Tony's going to do a quick interview, but he's very worried that he's not going to make his makeup time before you leave on break. Well, let me come and give him a touch-up. Okay, she's coming to okay. you. How do you like that? Okay. Thank you, Robin. Mm -hmm. That's cool. How I take care of you? <laughs> that would be cute. See, this is that behind the be scenes, y'all. Everybody, the hangout, the hangout, everybody that would be cute. Hangout. Is gonna see me getting my makeup done. Really, Maria? She has to hurry up, Danny. While you interview oh, Danny. And here's the funny part. Danny's gotta wait what until Tony gets his makeup. What I just heard right now. What? Did he just say something? It was not nice. Let me, let me let me let me ask you, is it because we have our human resources expert here, Clarissa. Come over here and say it. <laughs> 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 I'm, you will let me know if it's actionable. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! So Tony, just introduce her as um. Oh, see, I'm supposed to be on the set right now. Tony. Well, you're not there, so why don't oh you just stay gosh. here? Oh my gosh! Okay, I'll be right back. Oh, you, you, <laughs> can I just tell you, you are the worst. <laughs> oh my gosh! No, no, no. And is Nelly still gonna come on, or did Nelly come Nelly on? Nelly came on. You missed him, Clarissa. What is? What? Up? I know he was the first guest. Oh man. He was so nice too. He was very nice, very down to earth. Yeah. We talked about his uh, his kids and and how he deals with uh, 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 with his his constant working and. Uh, uh, still making time for his kids, things like that. Yeah. So. Chaka. Chaka. Yep, did you hear what she said about you? <laughs> did you what? Don't you know what? No, don't. Uh -uh. Don't even. No. Don't even go there. This is not the Galaxy Note I currently have in my possession. Just so you know. This is the Galaxy Note 3 of a man who was just professing his love for his HTC One, and when <laughs> queried by a certain tech guy about whether he'd be switching back to the Note, oh, it's too big. It's too big. I can't. Uh, I can't really use that. It's it, it's unwieldy. It's unwieldy. I can't mess with the Note. And <laughs> what is sitting on his desk right by his computer right now? <laughs> the Note 3. You well, should have your own YouTube channel. You know, there's a Chocolate story. There's always a, there's always a story. There's a story. Right, right. right. Which, okay. Which I am not privy. The oh. story is that he went down to the cell phone store and said, I, I want a new phone. No, I, no, 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 Stormy, really? That's, you know. You were probably sitting at home like Chris Rock and New Jack. No, no, no. <laughs> I, I, will, I will only say this. There are extenuating circumstances. That's mm. all I'm going to say. He Drop needed a new hit. Broker, oh, right? yeah, he's got to get out of yeah. here. Okay. Oh. Our X Factor. So uh, see, Cal. So see, after after the drama queen set me up to do this interview, drama the interview queen. can't even come. She's not gonna do it. No. She can't do it. She has to rush out. So so you see, Maria did all of this all and of they, that. you know, she is she is so melodramatic. So melodramatic. But but here, <laughs> yeah. instead of focusing on on the fact that I have I now have the Samsung Galaxy Note three, Galaxy Note three, which I love by the way. But instead of focusing on that, mm -hmm. you should, I think, focus on a much more important issue. And what would that more important issue be? <laughs> He's going to bring it up again. Maria sat here I and knew it. everyone in the Google Plus Hangout uh -huh. and, oh. and you the too. world that I look better than you. <laughs> <laughs> he does. Actually, she said that you were cuter, and I don't think Shaka's really going for cute. Tony, Tony McEwing has oh, look at more Stormy. muscles. He has, uh, uh, he did, I, I can't even compete. 
I Marissa, can't even this is where we need cooler heads to prevail and for you to come in and tell I mean, Tashaka, look at me. I'm all and to tell Tashaka got that beauty look is in the eye the of, of the beholder. He is like Lando Calrissian, and I am. <laughs> I am who am I? I? I'm a Tauntaun. 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 Hey, Edwards. <laughs> hey, he's Steve Edwards. He's he's the emperor. He was only on for five seconds. You know what? I say it's all about taste. It's 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 all relative. It's you nice. are Lando. You you should be sitting in front of us right now, going, "How about a nice cold?" Cold, Cold but, forty-five. But, Shaka, I will. I will say this as you as you well know because you you've worked with her as long as I have. Yes, yes. The Maria will say anything that she needs to say to get you to do what she wants you to do, and she was trying to get me to do something at that moment. Now that may or may not <laughs> That'll be color true. House. <laughs> that may or may not be so true. So she was. Everyone will will is a testament to the fact that she was trying to entice me to do something. Ah. Uh, oh. Okay. okay. And so that, But it, but Tony, pst, it worked. <laughs> well, yeah, uh, you know, because 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 my point was with, with this interview with Danny, I said, well, why can't Tashaka do it? Because it's getting very close to ten o'clock. Mm -hmm, I mm -hmm. need, you know, the things I need to do. And she says, well, because you're cuter. That's what she said. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> you, you, you just have this little salt and pepper thing going here, which is distinguished, and and it it oh. it reeks of wisdom. And, and I, I just don't. What I just heard him say is that I'm old. That's what I just heard him say. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, come on. No, 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 Tony. A, a, a fine wine old. Does 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 one? It's a fine wine a old. Drink <laughs> the that's that's been so that's 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 been allowed to You're reach so the full peak of, it. of its flavor. Oh, old? you are so full of it. Don't call this <laughs> that. That is. You are so full of it, brother. I'm just saying. I there's a story. I'll tell you the story off air. That's okay. all I'm gonna do. Say. Okay. I'm we want to hear the story though. I'm alive. Tweet the story. I can't. I can't. <laughs> I can't. Tell you okay, Shaka. Because because if I told the story and and made I'm not even supposed to tell him, but if I told the story publicly, uh, it could result in my uh, imminent demise. Uh -oh. As in dead. <laughs> <laughs> Including embarrass embarrassment, right, Tony? <laughs> he one? went to a loan shark to get his phone. <laughs> He's like, I, I, I got a head. Uh, um. <laughs> um, you know, let me just say that. But it it, it sounds like a a a family thing. Well, here's a oh, well, family depends on how you use. Family. family. <laughs> Mafia, they do call each other family. family. In the mob. how you use family. Organized crime members, they call each other family. <laughs> name, name, family. All I'm saying is. And they may or may I, I not was, be from New Jersey. I we don't know. Saying, it may or may not be from New Jersey. Right, we don't know. Right. <laughs> we don't know. Own, may or may not be in a landfill now. <laughs> yeah. Right. All I'm saying. Know. Is I got a phone call. You know what happens when you get a phone call. <laughs> mm. And the voice on the other end of the phone uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. said mm -hmm. to me, I got an offer for you that you can't refuse. Right. <laughs> mm. I'm saying so I'm not going into I'm not going into any more detail than that. That's what what kind of happened to me last week, the last weekend or the weekend before last. I did go into a T-Mobile store and buy my daughter the uh, LG G2, which you love. Yeah, I I did go buy that phone because it was zero down. And uh, okay, this is a. Good but you love the phone too. Oh, it's in my top. It's in my top. It's in my top I, I'd have to say it's in my top three. So it, it's it, it's up there for me. It's Note G2, and then the G2 is somewhere between the G2, the S4, but not the, and the but not the 5S, huh? No, that's not in your top three. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, the 5S. But I'm just not. We're twins now, it's man. It's a great phone. It's a beautiful phone. Nice hat. Yep. Uh, I just don't. I, I don't know because I'm just not an iPhone person. Now I love my MacBook. Yeah. I do actually love Mac products. I'm just I've never been an I, a lover of the iPhone. I just don't I don't like the form factor. Um, the screen's too small. I've always been a, a large screen guy. Well, so. you have big hands. I mean, you need you need you need substance in you. Know, I just hate this little. It's just yeah. 
No, you, you, you're a big guy. I mean, you're carrying around, yeah, a little yeah. frilly phone isn't going to work for you. Yeah. yeah. Is this size the reason you haven't mentioned the uh, the Nexus 4? Because uh, comparatively, have... the Nexus 4 is pretty small compared to the ones you've, you've mentioned. Yeah, I have I have the 4, and I actually do like that phone. The screen is magnificent. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful phone. Um, yeah, the 4 is a great phone, too, as well. But, I mean, you know, we have the imminent arrival of the uh, five, the next, or whatever. Oh, and you know that you know uh, just, that just came out was uh, yesterday was announced the uh, HCC One Max, which is being panned. Uh, yeah, largely. big time. But, but you know, I think look to, to HTC and to any other phone manufacturers out there who are not listening to me right now, because you know, <laughs> hanging on every. You know what? I, you saying. know what? Don't don't even um, go there because I actually read your uh, review that actually. Ended up on Google, and I don't mean Google Plus. I mean ended up on Google. Which review was that? One of your reviews of, of, of I can't remember what product it was a couple of months ago, and oh, I meant okay. to tell you, I meant huh. to tell you that it actually it actually went went uh, went out over Google. It was that big a deal. Well, somebody liked me somewhere, I guess. Yeah. But the HTC One Thank Max, Thank it's being panned. Be, uh, one of the reasons it's being panned is the the scanner, the fingerprint scanner. Yeah. And my thing is, if you're going to take the time to put that kind of technology into your device, make sure that it's it's on the level. Make sure it, it's compelling that it's that it doesn't come off like you were just throwing it in there to compete. Because I mean, well, how do you make a device like that and you leave out a Snapdragon 800 processor? How do you leave out a stylus, which apparently a lot of people think that's a big deal? I don't use well, it that much. Well, in that form factor, you know, that's kind of what's differentiated the the phablet from others is that you know the Note came out. And it got panned initially when it first came out. And then it did big business. It did big business. And part of the reason, you know, uh, and I think it was uh, uh, Samsung that released a stat that almost half, if not more than half, of its users actually use the stylus on a regular basis. I mean, I was on the phone the other because, day. Because more than half of them are in China. <laughs> well, you know. And, they, and, and, I, and I say that only because they, they use the stylus. Right. It's, it's, it's part of what they, what they do. As opposed to Americans. We but it's also easy. I was on the phone the other day uh, paying a bill, and I had a confirmation number, and it was quicker for me to just pop that stylus and write the confirmation number. Well, there is that, yeah. Because I was on the phone, you pop up S note, and you Bye just guys. go at it. Love you. I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, All right, Maria. Have a good day. Bye. Bye, Maria. <laughs> I got to go run in and take some photos. Okay. See ya. But, yeah, you know, you have to do something with that fingerprint scanner. From what I've read, that fingerprint scanner on the back of the One Max is not a step forward in the fingerprint scanning technology. I'll have to get my hands on it myself to see. But fingerprint scanners, honestly, and I hate to say it, ha have been hit or miss. Well, well, pass me the note, because here's the thing, too. With the Note 3, <laughs> with the Note 3, this is this is what you're holding, right? This is plenty big enough. The yep. max is this. But, you know, but I'm okay with that. Are you okay with that? Awesome because power. of the boom sound speakers. Yeah, yeah. That's I, why it's taller. I'm absolutely and okay a little with wider, I wish I more devices would put front-facing speakers, front-firing speakers. That's the one thing I did I like the about iPad. the HTC One. I did like the yeah. speaker. I wish my iPad biggest, would do that. I wish Apple would take my it on the My biggest complaint, and I told you this, even when I tell you as much as I love the phone, my biggest complaint is I am really, I can't take running out of juice. Right. That's right. a huge, huge deal for me. Yeah. I don't like Feeling like I got a plug in. Yeah, no, my son drinks up all the doggone juice in the house. He's 14. It gets on my doggone nerves. I come <laughs> home, my lips are fixed for some tasty. No juice. And it's gone. Ju oh, oh, battery power. <laughs> <laughs> Don't touch that last carton of juice, boy. <laughs> You're gonna have to close out the broadcast because I'm gonna have to. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you, I sir. Do that. See you guys. Bye, Tony. Thank you. Thank you. I remember my dad was like that when I was a kid. Like, Later, you Tony. better not Have drink the last Pepsi in the refrigerator. If you were in my house, you didn't drink that last Pepsi. If there was a can of pop, Pepsi in the refrigerator, you would get in trouble. I actually get in trouble for drinking the last Pepsi. So, hey, Shaka, are you from the Midwest? You called it pop. Uh, I was born in I was born in Colorado. Okay. But I I, I would say I've been raised out here because I came out here when I was very young. Okay. But, you know, I have a penchant for uh, colloquialisms and anachronistic phrases. Like one of my favorite characters on television is Mr. Burns from The Simpsons because I just love everything the dude says. I love using old, like when people usually say, hey, Shaka, how you doing? I usually say peachy. 
I just like saying things that throw people off. <laughs> and, and when you're like six foot, two hundred fifty pounds, and you say peachy to somebody, it generally they don't expect that, and so it's, right. So, and my wife and my mother-in-law like to make fun of me because we'll be talking, and I'll say something. I'll say something that's a veritable facsimile thereof, or something. And they're like, "Who says facsimile these days?" Anyway? <laughs> <laughs> Who says facsimile. I'm like, "Look, the word fits. It's a facsimile." But anyway, so yeah. All right. Oh, there goes my hair. Oh, no, Rock's here. I'm sorry. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. I just saw this streak fly by. Hi, Rock. Good morning. Good morning. I was stomping grapes. She stomped grapes. grapes, and she got grapes thrown in her face. I know. I saw. I, I'm quite dirty. I smell like a sour grape right now. Yeah. And, and you were drinking. And I caught we you drinking saw wine. What? We saw you I caught you drinking wine. wine. Yeah. Well, mm. I would have drank more if the camera wasn't on me. Um, yeah. <laughs> and talk about the shutdown, because, you know, that's good. Yeah. Stomping grapes. No, they're a bunch of jokers. All right, see you, Rossia. Yeah. All right, y'all. Um, I'm gonna go do social media stuff in the web office and stuff. So, um, I'll holler at you later, Clarissa. Thank you for the love. I saw your comment. I appreciate your mama. Oh, <laughs> yes, Shaka. Thank you. Yep. Yep. And I will uh, see you guys and gals uh, tomorrow. Uh, Y'all have a cool day. You do that. Take care. You too. Have a good one. Thank you. Bye, everybody.